Hello, dear friends. It's Poet WP here again. Uh, just throwing you out some endless poems today. Just it's gonna be a bunch of poems. <laughs> I guess I'm productive and active today. I mean, I have I have a lot of stuff to work with. Like I said, I have I don't know fifteen hundred poems that I haven't read yet, or so. Anyway, today's poem is a bit of a wild card. Now, up front, I have to say, I don't condone the use of drugs of any kind. I mean, I can't come on this channel and say that kind of thing, right? But in my past, in my youth, I drank like a fish and, you know, did, you know, I, I, I've had psychedelic experiences and, you know, I never got into heavy things, nothing physically addictive. Just the, the mystical-oriented spiritual stuff, you know. Psychedelics, weed, alcohol, shit like that. Not anymore. I don't really need that anymore, you know. Back in the day, I was known to bold voyage, or was known to be a bold voyager into the psychedelic realm from time to time. And this is one of the poems I... Not anymore. I, I, I don't... I don't even want to do it anymore. My stomach wouldn't be able to handle it anyway. But, yeah, th those days are done for me. I know all about that. I've been there and done that. So, you know. And I don't recommend it either. I don't recommend it. I cannot, with good conscience, recommend it to anybody. Did I get something out of it? Sure. That, that doesn't mean anybody else will. So, it's not something I recommend or advocate. I can't do that. It's irresponsible. But, yeah, I did it. Now, at one time when I was having a real strong psilocybin mushroom trip, I wrote this poem. <laughs> Once again, no title. I have to title it. In the... This is probably, I don't know, ten years ago. The light that consumes the eye of fortune discriminates beyond the proportions of stable states of mind. Among the present state, there are many universally affected revelations to account of within the energies that precede enlightenment. Full awareness of the feeling of every arranged molecule that a spirit doth cling to. Screaming their birthrights, constantly catalyzing their worst fears, the greatest desires wound in blind chambers of disacknowledgement, illuminations of the heart, the confines of inherent mentalities are the first to be transcended in the spirit's release from the body. One must distinguish their nature beyond the pull of predestination. Subconscious plateaus of unconditional awareness ascend to conscious action completely by the karma inhabiting the spirit of a body and how it is presented in the mind by the provocation of the spirit. <laughs> it reads like stereo instructions. <laughs> you gotta really, really like decipher what the hell is I'm trying to say in this. There's like all kinds of technical language in this. Psilocybin does funny things to your mind. It was a long time ago. Anyway. And it can be used for medical reasons too. I mean, there's medical uses for psilocybin. It, it can be a powerful medicine, but... It, it's certainly not something you're supposed to do recreationally. They use it for certain, like, dying patients and stuff to kind of identify their spirit. There's a whole science behind it now. Anyway, I'm rambling. Hope you like the poem. The magic mushroom poem I wrote 10 or 15 years or 10 years ago. I don't know. Okay. Blessings to you all. Be good to people. As E.T. said, be good.